Hi friends! My name is Megan and welcome to my 45th floss tube episode. If you are new here, welcome. This is a channel that is mostly about cross stitch. However, I do share my other hobbies here when I've worked on them. Uh, today I just have stitching to share with you though. Um, and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me today. I appreciate all of you even more than you know. Um, today is Sunday. It's November the 5th <laughs> and it's a beautiful fall day here in Maryland. Um, the Trees are just past their peak uh, color right now. It's been absolutely beautiful. I'm not, I don't love driving uh, except for at this time of year because I love looking at all of the beautiful fall trees and the colors. Um, the weather has been crisp. It's like soup season now. <laughs> it's, you know, it's my favorite time of year. So that's good. Um, everybody here has been doing pretty well. Uh, Aaron's at work right now um, and he took Cora with him. So we will see if we can get through this in one take. Um, Mittens is freaking out. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's running around. Um, Quentin is not at work today, but he is at his dad's house. Um, his job is going pretty well. Uh, I don't think I was prepared for <laughs> the difference of like him going to school, you know, full time and him working full time. Um, I feel like I see a lot less of him now and I know that this is coming, like logically, it's just... <sighs> My mother's heart is not is not quite ready <laughs> for all that so it's just been a transition I guess um but that's okay I know it has to happen <laughs> um I've been doing okay um enjoying my October I've got lots of dark October stitching to share with you if you're unfamiliar with dark October stitching um it is the brainchild of Emily C of Eclectic Possessions and uh, Michelle of Cozy Egg <clears throat> and it's basically when you spend the month of December and by December I obviously mean October stitching on your dark um and spooky or Halloween themed pro uh, projects and it's my favorite <laughs> time to stitch all year. Um, I always do a bunch of starts and I love it so I got a lot to show you in that regard. Um, my October was great. I listened to a bunch of spooky books as I always do. Um, I What I really like to do is listen to there's some podcasts that I really enjoy, um, Talking Scared and Books in the Freezer, and I like to, like, for Talking Scared, he interviews authors, so I like to uh, listen to an interview that he does with an author and then read a book by them. So I've been doing a lot of that and really enjoying it. Um, I do have a Goodreads account, which I don't rate the books that I uh, read because if I did that, I would never... <laughs> Do anything with it that would be I don't know weirdly too much pressure for me but if anybody's ever interested in what I'm reading I'll put a link to my uh, Goodreads down below um so I did that I watched all of my favorite things um I did watch Fall of the House of Usher which I loved I had just finished reading uh before I watched that um what's it called I wrote it down a mystery of mysteries the death and life of Edgar Allan Poe and I'll put the, a link to the book below I really enjoyed that so reading that first and then watching Fall of the House of Usher with that fresh in my mind um it was a great experience I highly recommend it if you are uh into such things um that was great I watched you know the craft and practical magic and over the garden wall and just you know enjoyed my my spooky month <laughs> um yeah so i hope everybody else had a great october and i know we are quickly approaching the end of the year um i've got uh halloween decorations to take down today actually um and pull the fall ones out and i did take a couple clips of some of the halloween decorations we put out this year and i'm going to insert a little clip of that in here right now <laughs> share with you today I have what's in progress what's your whips <clears throat> I have um, 
plenty of new starts and I've got finishes. I have a small giveaway. I have some stitchy kindness. I have um, some plans that maybe I will be working on throughout the month of November. And I have a little bit of, I've got one thing I think that came in the mail, two things. Excuse me. <clears throat> And then we had our yearly swap at my stitch group, so I have a couple things that I picked up there as well. All right, so like I said, I have a lot to go over, and uh, let's just jump right in. I did try to put these kind of in order of how I worked on them, um, but I overlap a lot dur during my stitching day, <laughs> so it's not going to be perfect, but anyways, the first whip that I pulled out to work on was Cats on Parade. By Blackbird Design. Um, you can frame it or people make it into this drum. There's like a little top you can do for the drum. I probably will do a drum but I have not committed either way. I've got a long way to go before I get that far. This is um it's not very big. It's well it is kind of big. <laughs> it's 154 wide by 100 uh, stitches high uh, and it's some pretty these are pretty dense stitching in here. So that lives in this cute little black cat bag and I am stitching this with a combination of sulky 1131 713 I never know which number to say. <laughs> um, a combination of this one so one strand of this and one strand of the cloth 4371. And this is giving really good coverage on this 32 Cant Lugana that I'm using. This is a Ship's Manor <sighs> Lugana. This was a June prim, probably from 2017 or 2018. Uh, it was fabric of the month. So here's where I got to. I started this last year in October, and this was the first time I have pulled it out. Uh, let's see. I added in the fence over to here. I filled in the cat, I filled in the moon, I don't think the moon was filled in, and I think I added in some of these doodads, and then I worked on a little bit more of this top border, I believe this is the end of the piece, so that is coming along nicely. Like I said, it, it nice, just a lot of stitching. <laughs> Right, the next thing that I have to share with you, this was a restart, and I actually forgot that I had started it uh, before. I have um, like a couple bins of kitted up projects, and I wanted to pull projects that I had kitted up last year uh, to work on this year, like for my lunchtime stitching. And this was the first one that I pulled out. This is Pumpkins and Crows by Plum Pudding Needle Art. It's two little pillows. And I guess last year I started it on this very flimsy <laughs> linen and I was I didn't like how it looked. I think I was using one strand and it was just not, I just didn't like it. So I started it over on some other mystery linen that I have and I finished them both. So here's the first one. I used the called for DMC with the exception of the white, which is the sulky white. Just my favorite white to use. And that one too. So these are cute. Those just need to be finished in the little pillows and that'll be all done. I've got, I'm like itching <laughs> to do some finishing. Um, I was working on a big sewing project kind of on and off throughout the month. Um, and so that was taking up all of my extra like crafty time. <laughs> but I'm itching, itching to do some finishing. All right, uh, the next is another new start. This is Miss Lucian's School for Girls Lesson 1 by Plum Street Samplers. And this says, trick or treat, stitches neat, or prickly needles stick your feet. I don't know if there is ever more than one lesson <laughs> for this, but this was a lot of fun to stitch. Uh, just four colors, and I pulled just four colors from my sash. These four. I stitched this on a piece of 36 count something. This is Weigart fabric that I, um, it's like that mustard yellow, and I over dyed it with some coffee. So here is my finish. 
Um, this was fun and easy and um, I'm going to turn it into a little table runner just like in the picture there. Put in a little bit. Sorry, that's a little see-through. Cute. I really enjoyed that. Uh, the next project that I started, I did not finish. Um, this is Not Forgotten Farms Nantucket Broom Ride. And it looks like this. And I've loved this one for a long time. Um, I don't know why I put off starting it for so long, but it's a witch riding a whale and it's perfect. And don't tell my other projects here, but I think this is my new favorite. So that's what it looks like. I'm keeping it in this Janet Jabber bag that I love so much. You guys have seen this for many years now. I love this bag. Um, and I'm keeping it in there. I'm stitching this with all of the called for DMC, I believe. Yes, called for DMC on another piece of Ship's Manor. This was a November fabric of the month, again, from 2017 or 2018, I believe. Uh, this is a piece of uh, 28 cat shell. And this fabric I never knew what to do with because it's a little, I don't know. It seemed like a little much, but it's not too much for this at all. So I worked on this for a couple of nights and I... Uh, got the border in and I worked on the sea and the land and the waves and then I started the whale just enough to get up to the witch. <laughs> so I stitched, stitched in that witch and this will be fun to pick up. I don't know, this was just like something about the weight of this linen um, just was really, just felt really good to uh, stitch on. So I really, really I'm enjoying this one. I can't wait to get back to her. I can't wait to get back to all of these. <laughs> um, just like when somebody does like a whip parade, everybody's like, oh, I can't wait to get back to it. That's just true. I love all of my projects. I even have one problem child in here that I'm excited to get back to. <laughs> uh, the next project that I have is the Spell Sewing Pouch by Stacey Nash Primitives. I love this. Um, this is just done in one color. I did mine in two. I used two colors in mine. I used, um, again, just colors from my stash. And this is a piece of fabric that I'm not sure what is. I, I dyed it. I over dyed it um, for this project. And something about the combination of this blue with the silvery color, like really tickled the 90s celestial girl in me. <laughs> I was um, definitely into that. I definitely had like the um, the moon and the stars and the celestial bed set and loved all of that. So this definitely scratched that itch for me. And I really enjoyed stitching it. It was super fun. Um, so that's why I did add in that little bit of yellow there. I love this. This is, I've got another one of these to show you here in my pile, so I'm going to make three of these bags that I have done. The other one was Ebenezer's sewing morning pouch? Sewing pouch? Ebenezer's morning pouch? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I'll show you when I get to what came in the mail. I finally ordered some finishing um, fabrics for these so I can work on getting those done. Um, I don't know if anybody... Um, of course, I'm sorry, Not that, I don't know if anybody, I'm sure <laughs> everybody uh, has been watching Olivia B's, um, her Halloween vlogs, it, which were amazing and so inspiring and just, I loved every single one of them. So, Cora wasn't here to interrupt us, but apparently phone calls still, <sighs> everything's fine. Anyways, I was saying, I think that, um, <clears throat> Hopefully everybody watched uh, Olivia B's Halloween vlogs, which were amazing, and she's got um, these finished into pouches and hanging um, on the like, pegs on the shelf, and that was just so inspiring. I love everything that she does. Anyways, moving on, um, another little project that I pulled out was Witch Hazel by La Di Da. It looks like this. I think this came in the Kitten Stitcher Halloween box. Uh, not. Was it not last year? Was it last year? Anyways, I think this is available now. I stitched this in the called for DMC on a piece of something that I dyed. And here she is. 
this does have a diamant. I don't know if you can see the shiny. <laughs> so I really like this a lot. Um, this does have a little border that goes around it. There's like the flowers at the bottom and then two straight line border. And once I finished uh, Ms. Witch Hazel, I chose not to do those. I think this will make a cute little pillow. That's another thing from watching Olivia's videos. I want to make everything into a pillow now. <laughs> so there she is. She was a lot of fun and she was a quick little stitch. Uh, this next project I did not finish. Um, this I have this big project bag full of tombstones that I would like to stitch and I pulled out um, one of them out of this bag and that is Follow Me by The Primitive Needle. Looks like this. I am stitching this with um, a Mrs. Satis silk. This is her just black silk on a piece of 36 count Fortnite fabrics in Pick Me Choose Me. This was um, one of their fabric of the months some time ago. And here's where I got. I was really enjoying this. Um, I just, I don't know, I was like working on it and normally I love the stitch words, like I love to stitch words, but I just wasn't in the mood to do so <laughs> uh, while I was working on this project. So I worked on it for a couple of days and then decided to move on to something else. Right now, the next one, this was my problem child. <laughs> um, I was really excited about starting to work on this one and um, for some reason it gave me some struggles and I will talk about that here in a second. This is another Stacey Nash Primitives. This is Mustard Seed Manor Sewing Book. Looks like this. Cute. And then on the inside, she's got of course all of the finishing instructions. You do stitch this little uh, pins um, thing there living in this black cat in the moon bag and I pulled all the colors from my stash um, that's not very many colors they are a little messy but that's okay uh, I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count fabric that I over dyed and here's where I got to um, so what gave me trouble well first I started the border and I started it in two strands um, two, so two over two on 36 count is typically my favorite way to stitch if I'm using a Q-snap or a hoop. If I'm stitching in hand, and I stitched this in hand, in fact I stitched most of these um, in hand, I like to use one strand. And I started it with two strands, and so I think I need to pull this white out and redo that. And then I started the house, and I counted off of... Um, the scissors here and I started in the wrong place so my house is larger uh, than it should be I had to add I think three extra rows to get it to work out properly I don't know I was just struggling with this one a little bit I don't just simple mistakes no, no, no fault of the pattern just my my fault um, so I worked on it until I fixed what was going on with the house. That way I know when I start counting again, I can count um, properly off of what I have here. So it's a little start on that. This is not very big. I think that when I get back to that, it should probably not take super long. This next project is something that's been Get it up and hanging around since 2019. This is Creeping It Round by Heart and Hand. This came in a color and cotton Halloween box. And I believe this has been released since then. Uh, this particular pattern that I have um, all is all for color and cotton floss. So I'm not sure if when they released it, if she kept it that way or not. I'm not sure. So I stitched this with all of the called for everything. This is a 32 count cauldron bubble which came in the box with it using all of the color and cotton flosses and here it is. I can't believe <laughs> that it took me so long to stitch this. I think I thought that it was like maybe a little cutesy um, 
for my style but there's nothing wrong with cute that's adorable and I love it and I even love the little buttons and it's great and I didn't bring it over here but this came with the um the rickrack to finish it as well there's like some rickrack and some chenille that came with it um you could do that here's another little companion piece Oops, focus Halloween that's cute too so I'm glad to have that little one done uh, another little one that I pulled out is a with thy <clears throat> excuse me with thy needle and thread by Brenda Gervais. This is the pumpkin patch, and you just stitch this part. And then there's instructions on how to turn it into um, this little pumpkin. Uh, speaking of which, we never got pumpkins this year. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but we did not. Anyways, I stitched this on a piece of 28 or 32 count something from my stash. Um, it doesn't really look aged in this picture, but there are instructions to age it after you stitch it. And I used all the call for DMC. And here is my little finish of that. I think that only took maybe two nights. Super quick. <laughs> Next up, I have my other <laughs> Stacey Nash. Um, sewing pouch. This is the potions one. Again, uh, Olivia B's got this one finished too. Hanging up. So cute. I stitched this on a piece of 32 count Nantucket by Color and Cotton. Using, I actually have a call of four colors for this one. So this is espresso bean and ginger snap. And here is my finish for this one. Uh, for this one, I did um, two over two for like the bigger motifs, the cauldron and the cat and the keys and the letters. And then I did uh, one over one for all the little doodads <laughs> and the top border. So happy with how that turned out. Um, I feel like the lighting is making everything a little blown out, but this is a really pretty fabric. I'm not sure if this... This was a fabric of the month. I'm not sure if this is in her uh, all the time line, but if it is, I'd like to get more. <laughs> all right, the next pattern that I have is another small. This is by Homespun, Homespun Elegance. I got this last year when my stitching group made a little field trip and I got this at HodgePodge. Um, this is Wicked Tired. I thought that was cute. Uh, she's got little star charms on here. I think I might like to figure out where to get those. I'd like to add those to this. Uh, so for this one, I stitched it with the called for DMC and then just two overdies from my stash. This is a piece of 28 count something. <laughs> so there's the finish. Uh, this, I forgot that I had this linen. I mean, it, it is. Um, but I had gotten a big piece of this off of Amazon like many, many years ago. Um, it said that it was cross-stitch linen, but I don't think it really is. Um, I'm just looking because I've got a piece over there that I stitched on. And I think after I stitched that piece, I thought that I took everything and put it into like uh, my finishing fabrics. And like if, if I'm making primitive um, like dolls. <laughs> um, but somehow this piece was in there and I started working on it. And I was like, you know, what, I'm just going to go for it. So whatever it's all done and it's cute and I like that a lot all right the next piece that I started and finished is another not forgotten farm piece this was also a joy to stitch uh this is Isaiah Nye 1819 looks like this uh, I will say that the pattern and the front cover aren't exactly the same uh, the house you'll see in a second um, is shaped a little bit different on the pattern than it is on this front cover. But that's okay. It's still absolutely beautiful. I used all of the call for colors except for one. I did have to change the roof color uh, to make it stand out on my fabric. And I used um, this old color and cotton called Twig. I stitched this on a piece of 28 count, I think. Maybe. Or 32 count. I'm not sure. Uh, mystery linen that was in my stash. And here's my finish. This was um, 
this was just one of those really uh, enjoyable, nice easy peasy stitches, just a lot of straight lines. Um, I almost left this little vine off, but I didn't. <laughs> Um, and I do think maybe I might age this one up a little bit too now that it's done. I really love the uh, kind of grunginess of that picture. So I might take and age this up a little bit too. I also really like this Adirondack frame that it's in. Um, cute. Anyways, so. This was awesome and I was working on this and finished it while I attended the Dark October Seance, uh, which again is hosted by Emily C. and Michelle. Um, this was the third year that they've done that and it is a great time. Um, and I'm always shy at those kinds of things, but I really enjoy them, even just like sitting and listening to um, everybody chat I, I that's fun for me so anyways Michelle um, has been putting out every year a planchette and I know that she released two of them recently uh, I've stitched one every year the first one I did like the uh, uh, dark October seance one and then last year I did um, I can't remember what that the one from last year was called why do I want to say into the mist I don't I don't know if that's right or wrong I'll put it here or down below whatever the correct one is. So anyways, I finished up um, the Not Forgotten Farm pattern that I was working on and then I started the planchette that she released this year. Uh, this one is called the The Blood is the Life planchette by Cozy Egg Designs. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count Spectre by Color and Cotton. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the Spells Potion um, or the spells bag that I did, the Stacey Nash spells bag, I think is the other half of this that I dyed, over dyed. Uh, I stitched this with all of the called for DMC and I finished it up. These are cute and fast and I was thinking about how I want to finish them because now I've got three of them. <laughs> and Erin makes, uh, uh, if I think about it, I'll take a picture. Erin makes these like little coffin shaped peg hooks I guess um, so I might have him make one of those for me and then like flat finish these and hang them all uh, for one of those pegs but there's my finish these are always a joy to stitch I really like this one I like vampires <laughs> so uh, this one's super cool and I'm sure that she will uh, probably release that in the next year or so so I love that and now we've gotten to almost the end of the month <laughs> and I was getting ready for uh, my stitch group, the Threaded Wrens. We meet on uh, the last Sunday typically of every month and I didn't have anything like kind of ready to go that was good for uh, stitching and chatting and something you know, along those lines, visiting. Um, so I pulled out one of my other uh, Dark 13 whips from last year and this is Halloween Barnyard by Not Forgotten Farm. I obviously had uh, a lot of fun with Not Forgotten Farm uh, all month. I love this. I love the donkey. Uh, the witch riding the donkey is my favorite part. I do want to change up. There's a little dog on there, and I would like to change that up to look like Cora. Um, cute. I love this. This lives in my Hillside Rookery bag. This is also by Olivia B. This is just an Olivia B fan account now. <laughs> Um, this is my favorite bag. It's so squishy. I love it. This lives in here. Uh, I'm stitching this with the called for DMC with the exception of the uh, barn, which I did change around a little bit to make it look more like the picture, and the black. I'm using sulky black. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count Phoenix Rising by Fortnite Fabrics. Here's where I got to. So I finished filling in the barn and then I started, uh, I started working on the donkey and I started it back here, actually. Um, if you remember, everything is off by two, two rows, I think. I had it written down in the pattern. Um, so 
so I know. <laughs> but everything is shifted up, I think, two rows. I, I'm not sure what I, what I did. <laughs> um, either way, I started the donkey back here and it was just not working out. And then I realized that I started it with two strands instead of one strand. Everything else on here is one strand. So I've been ripping that back and I restarted the donkey on the side and that side is correct. So it's a lot of fun. This was my favorite. It's when the Nantucket Broom Ride came along. So I love this piece. I'm glad that it got a little extra love this year. So that takes us to Halloween. And I started for Halloween, which is my wedding anniversary, uh, this little piece that reminded me of me and Erin. This is by Mama Witch X Stitch, and this is called We Are Fine. Looks like this. And I've been working on it since then. I'm using the called for DMC with the exception of the white and the black. I have switched out for Sulky. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count first kiss by Fortnite Fabrics. And here's where I am so far. So I've got him all the way done. And um, I'm going to start on the woman tonight. So, loving this. This, um, I feel like my coverage isn't great on this one, but that's okay. From far, from like far back, <laughs> it looks great. So, this has been a lot of fun. A nice, easy stitch in the evenings. Uh, believe it or not, I've got a couple more things here. <laughs> um, another small <laughs> that I started and finished comes from this Merry Halloween uh, book. This is a book of pin keeps by Stacey Nash. I think that she recently released the four patterns that are in here. And I had started and just finished up the old black boot pinky, which looks like this. I have another shoe <laughs> that I've done, a uh, primitive shoe uh, by Not Forgotten Farm. It's actually right on the table here. It's Mary Black. Um, because this is four projects, I'm keeping this in a project bag. This is one that I made. I love that. I used the call for DMC, which was 831. And I stitched it on a piece of 32 count black Lugana. And as you can see, there's not much stitching to it. Just a little bit. I used one strand. Um, but this should be a quick, quick one to finish and it can sit with my other shoe. I don't know. Does anybody know of more primitive shoe patterns? Do I have, is that my new thing? <laughs> I don't know. But I love that. All right, um, something else that I had actually started in my last video, but did not talk about, um, I was like, that, my last video was a little bit chaotic, <laughs> to say the least, and um, I was part of the way through the video, and I looked over on my table, and I could see this project sitting there, like, all scrunched up, like, because I had been working on it, and I was like, you know what, we'll just share it next time, and that is the Arcana Sal by Uncanny Kari, um, this is going on through her Patreon which I, um, as you know, if you watch me before, I really enjoy the patterns that she puts out on there. I'm keeping this little sal in this little tiny bag <laughs> um, that I got in the Love Lunar Swap. And this calls for two colors of DMC blended together, um, black and 310. And I think this is 3750. <laughs> I'm stitching this on a piece of just 16 count lamb's wool Ada, and here's where it is so far. So the first part was the outline, and then what do we have here? We have the fool, um, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, and then the emperor, I believe, just came out last night. So this is just fun, quick stitching. It takes, you know, a little more than 30 minutes to do each of those little elements that she's added and, and this is fun. I think this might turn into a nice project bag uh, when it's all said and done. Okay. That is everything <laughs> that I worked on in the month of October. I do, I would, excuse me, 
like to ask um, an opinion about one project. This one I put out and I have not worked on it yet this year. Uh, I do work on all my whips uh, throughout the year. I have not worked on this this year and when I looked at it I felt very unsure if I wanted to continue on with it so I was hoping to see what you guys thought. Um, I am very on the fence about this one. This is a project that I started last year. Please don't mind the coffee uh, stain <laughs> on this. Um, this is by the Witchy Stitcher and this is Poe the Raven. This came in, um, I know it's been released now, but this came in a, a Poe related box that I got from Starlight Stitchery, I believe. So I started this last year and I loved this, uh, what is it, Dark Spell? Yes, Dark Spell. Uh, linen by Primitive Hair and so I was pumped to start it and when I went to start this I realized that there are two different cuts of this dark spell and I had a smaller cut and there's also a bigger cut and this was stitched on the bigger cut. So uh, what did I decide to do? I decided to start this and stitch it one over one which is no problem I don't mind doing that and here's where I'm at which is fine. <laughs> I like I don't mind this at all. This is lovely linen um it's great to stitch on but what has caused me to not be sure if i want to continue with this is really when i finish it though i'm gonna lose all the elements of the linen that i like so much so i don't know if i should ufo this and um pick all this out which that won't be fun i don't want to waste this linen um, that won't be fun. I mean, I, I'm sure I will do it eventually, but, or if I should just keep going and it just is what it is. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, it's living in this cute little bag and for some reason I have an entire hank of black silk, uh, most sale black silk in here for this for this. So number one, some of this has got to come out because I could be using that for other projects. Um, but yeah, I don't know what do you guys think. Should I pick that out and UFO that and start this over because I really like it? Um, I'm sure I can find room on the wall for it. I've actually got quite a few Poe patterns that I would like to add to that wall. You know, I think more is more. So yeah. All right. So now that's officially <laughs> all of that. So what else do I have to share with you today? I have a little giveaway. Um, I received some stitchy kindness, so I'd like to spread some stitchy kindness. And I was going through um, some of my patterns and I came across this. This is by Kore Ibarakore. And this is something, I don't know what this is called, but I would like to give this pattern away. <laughs> It says, this house believes in Christmas. Um, I went to my uh, local needle workshop, Needle Craft Corners Christmas party last year, and this was something that was given to us, and it came with all of the DMC, uh, which I will include. I did open this, uh, but I've never even pulled the pattern out to look at it. Um, this is not quite my style, but it might be one of yours. So if you would like to be entered to win this, uh, please be 18. Please do not say giveaway or anything of the sort. I will mail this anywhere and just um, use the word tree somewhere in your comment or you don't have to put it somewhere in there. You could just literally type the word tree and that will enter you in. So if you would like this, let me know. This was stitched on... It's like some 32 count um, vintage country mocha. So I hope somebody uh, would like this. Okay, and I will pull for that in my next video, which will be uh, the beginning of December. So maybe you will even have it in time for Christmas if that's something that you're into. Okay, so like I said, I also received some stitchy kindness. Um, and I, got, I brought that to share. I got a lovely package from my friend Olivia. Uh, she sent this gorgeous card. Uh, she had found some fabric that she uh, thought reminded her of me and also Emily, the Eclectic Possessions, and she made us each one of these beautiful bags. And I absolutely love it and I already used it. Um, I used it 
uh, to take some stuff into work the other day. And Olivia, we got so many compliments on this bag. Oh my gosh, everybody thought it was gorgeous. I was like, Lefra made it for me. <laughs> so I love this, love this. Um, it's got this beautiful lining and it's just, it's perfect. And I love it. Um, I also received a little package <laughs> from Erin. It's Erin Makes, and I will make sure to link her Instagram below. She won one of my giveaways, and she, as a little thank you, sent me a package along with a great note. And in that package was a Not Forgotten Farm pattern, Nightshade Farm, which, um, as you guys can tell, I love this designer and love stitching her work, so I'm excited to start that. And there were some cute stickers. And this really, really pretty thread key. That's, that's gorgeous. I can't wait to use that. But maybe the creme de la creme of the uh, package was this beautiful, beautiful bag that she made. Um, this is gorgeous. It's got this pretty neutral on the inside. Here's the back. And I love it. I love this. I'm not going to zip it, but like the zipper goes to the center. Um, and she did an amazing job. Um, so, what am I going to put in this? Uh, I'm very excited that I will be putting in this Ellen Harrison 1889. So, this is going to be my birthday start this year uh, as part of the BAD Big Ass Beer Sal. <laughs> um, I'm going to be starting this with my friend Emily and my friend Laura. And I am very, very excited. Uh, I will go more into the... I'll go more into it in my next video after I start with it. Um, but I've been anxious to start this for quite some time. And uh, when Emily went to Color and Cotton, she got a, she created a conversion for this. I forget, what is this called? For Floriana's? Floriana's Dinky Dyes Classic Color Works. And there is a DMC... Um, there is a DMC equivalent, but she went to Color and Cotton and pulled um, some beautiful flosses. Hold these up nicely, maybe. So I contacted them and got them. Uh, I have a little bit of, by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit of phone anxiety. Um, and Laura suggested sending them an email. And so I emailed them and said, hey, can I get that conversion? And they were so kind and they invoiced me right away and shipped them out right away. And I expect nothing less because they are amazing there. So these are all of the colors that go in the pattern. And this calls for ale, which I have a piece of. Um, but I just didn't feel like this, I just didn't feel like it should be on <laughs> ale. I wanted it on gray. Um, if I can, I'll put a picture of the antique in here. And I just think of this as being on gray. I don't think of it as being on ale. So I had the ale and then I had this piece of old linen by Extra Design also pulled for it, which either of them, I mean, they're both fine. But then my color and cotton fabric of the month came and it's a 40 count overcast. And this is exactly what I wanted. This was the perfect color. It's the perfect gray. Um, I don't know if I can hold these up together, but it just, it just looks exactly <laughs> like the picture. It's just absolutely perfect. Now, I wasn't planning on stitching it on 40 count, so I ordered floss as if I was stitching it um, over to on 36 count, but that's okay because those are beautiful colors and I can use them in something else. So I am super pumped. We will be starting that on my birthday, which is November the 9th. Um, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So I brought over here um, just some plans that I might uh, start in the next month or so. My fall stitching gets neglected every year. So in September, uh, we do sampler in <laughs> September, uh, which I guess I could put some fall um, stitching into then, but like I don't, I'm not always feeling, it doesn't always feel like fall here in September. So um, that doesn't normally start until October. And then obviously in October, I want to be stitching um, all of the great <laughs> Dark October projects that I have. And so then I start something on Halloween and that goes until my birthday and then I start something on my birthday and I'll work on that for several days. And so then my fall stitching uh, kind of gets 
like the last two weeks of November and that's it. So I don't know, I pulled out some things to maybe inspire me to get a couple of these um, out of my stash and well, I was going to say I'm going to into my walls, but it'll probably be into my hutch, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, this one has lived in a project bag, which I made this project bag. I think this was the first Top Zip project bag I made. I love this fabric on the inside, just gray on the inside. But this has lived in a project bag with all the DMC since last year. And that is Crows, Crows Corn and Cats by Chartmakers. And this is small, 61 by 62. So I just need to pick uh, some linen and get that done. <laughs> get that done, Megan. Uh, this next one that I pulled out is by Ba Meow um, on Etsy. And it's, there's cat hair everywhere. And it, it's okay to rest. Um, I know this time of year it can be very chaotic with various holidays and whatnot, but it's important to rest and I would really like to have this up. Um, I'd really like to have this up. I pulled that out. Uh, speaking of birthdays, I was watching uh, Cross Stitch Kate. She's got a new video out and she was talking about starting, we should be sure the same birthday and we, she was talking about all the starts that she wanted to do for her birthday. She started eight things and uh, one of them was the woodpecker by Cottage Garden cottage garden samplings and my friend Hannah uh, very generously gave me all of these after she stitched them she stitched all of them and they are gorgeous uh, her name's Hannah Dowling I'll make sure to link her below um, so you can check out her gorgeous finishes of all of these and um, Kate said this was going to be one of her starts uh, for her birthday so maybe Kate if you <laughs> maybe I'll start this along with you um, I think I can get it together <laughs> to start that too. Um, this next one is a Stacy Nash. This is Houses of Berries Chapel Road Turkey Hollow Farm. I love this. I've been watching Christy of um, Daisy K Primitives <laughs> has been stitching this and I love it. And she, I need to go back and check because she was worried about um, the words not showing up. I need to see if she's using the called for colors. Um, in her last update, the words were definitely showing up and they look great. But I would like to make, maybe even if I don't start it, get it, get it up and ready to go for next year. Put that one out. Uh, this next one is another Not Forgotten Farm. Um, this is Old Mustard Moon. I've had this pattern for a while. This one calls for some uh, over dyed um, cottons. But I'm sure I can find something in stash. This is just. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, this is from Artful Offerings. This is with a grateful heart. I've never stitched anything by Artful Offerings, but I do like their style an awful lot. I would uh, not do this top bit and just do uh, these two bird kings worshiping that pumpkin. <laughs> it's really pretty. I'd like to do that. And, um, I was going to say maybe do a flat fold with it, but it's a little bit, it's like 12 inches wide, so maybe not. Um, these next ones came from, or this next one came from Creative Poppy. I'm not going to pronounce the um, name because I don't want to butcher it, but this is called Fall Rainstorm. And I love, love, love this little girl with her dog. So the chart uh, is actually like this, but I like these. I think that would be cute in two little like gold frames. I have to see if I have, I think this would be really pretty just on like bright white linen. I have to see if I have any. I'm not sure. But I love those. They should be pretty quick. Um, I know some people do a black sampler November and I've got one here that I have wanted to stitch this very, mm, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, this is Death is a Dialogue by Lindy Stitches. And uh, ever since this came out, it's a poem by Emily Dickinson. Ever since this came out, I've loved it. And um, I would maybe like to get a start on this one. Uh, here's a little small. This is Maggie Bean's Harvest. 
I stick I have stitched Maggie Bean's Patience. Um, it comes with little silks. So that might be something that I do. Something I would definitely like to get to this year. I don't know why I haven't. Is Strutting Tom by also by Lindy Stitches. I do love turkeys. Um, I bought this as a kit when it came out in 2020. <laughs> and I had to have it. Got all the all the bits to it. And had to have it, had to have it, get started. So I'd like to start it this year. I don't know what my I don't know what my hold up is on that one either. Uh, this one's a little bigger, so this one's maybe less likely to be started. Um, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. This is by Far Away Designs, and this is called Foxy Fall. It's one, two, three, four, five overdives and one DMC. But this is just like, wow. I love that. Love that, love that. But again, that one, that one might be next year. This one is a definite though. <laughs> because I would like to get this series um, wrapped up. And this is uh, Hands on Design, the French Kitchen series. This one is um, Apples and Sage. This was, uh, this came out by the Inspired Needle. I got all of them um, kitted from them. It was like a club type deal back 2020, I think. 2019 to 2020, I'm not sure. I think I got these in 2020, but I would like to at least get that one started. That way I've got two done, one as a whip, and I would like to get that one started too. So in those two weeks that I have, <laughs> With, you know, Thanksgiving in there. We always host Thanksgiving. Uh, let's just see what I can <laughs> get done. All right. Uh, I only have a couple things left to share with you today. Um, and these are the things. Excuse me. I'm going to have to ooh, reach a little bit. And these are a few things that came in the mail and the things that I picked up um, at the swap at my stitch group. <laughs> um, so I said earlier that I got some finishing fabrics um, for those little Stacy Nash um, sewing pouches and for various other things that I would like to finish. This came from an Etsy shop, uh, Sunny Slope Farms, and I got just some like homespuns and ticking type there, fast shipping, there's some ribbons there, cute packaging, I can always appreciate that, there's a little um, pumpkin <laughs> on the front, so I got those to do some finishing with, um, hopefully, I, I don't think by the next time um, I see you, maybe, maybe in the new year, I'll be able to share the sewing project that I worked on over, um, over the last few weeks uh, for our wedding, I did uh, I had people sign fabric to do a quilt with, like a quilt guest book, and I put that together for Erin for our uh, two-year anniversary, um, second year's cotton, so I made the quilt top for that, but I did not have the time to uh, actually finish the quilt. So, but that's okay. He understands. Um, the next thing that I picked up was by the Cricut Collection. This is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I watch the Lazy Stitcher. Is it the Lazy Stitcher VT for Vermont? Amanda. I met her at the New Jersey retreat. Not this year, obviously, because I didn't go, but the year before, and she is a delightful human. Um, and I really enjoy watching her videos. She does two separate types of videos. She does one type of video where it's like what she's read for the month and then she does a separate stitching update. And she's been working on this and I love it. And she was, she said something in her last video. She called it, um, she was, had been working on the Chatelaine. She was working on it for the year. And she was like, oh, I'm done now because it's the Stitcher's year. So the Stitcher's year is like January, you know, to the Burr months. And then when you get down to like October, November, December, um, this don't count in the year because you're doing other stuff at that time. And I thought that was genius and I love it. And yes. So anyways, I need to find some fabric for this. I really, really like this a lot. It's big, but I like it. 
So um, I did buy some like PDFs of things, but my printer is out of ink and I didn't print any of them obviously because of that. So I don't have them here to share. Um, I feel like I haven't shared those in the last few videos, but that's okay. Um, so all I have left here is what I got from the swap. Um, I got this little tiny tension hoop. Um, I'm sure maybe you've noticed sometimes I have pretty questionable margins on my pieces <laughs> and I thought this would be perfect. I picked up this raise the roof pattern. This is called Halloween alphabet. Look at my cute cat. Love it. Um, from you and I and friends. This is primitive hen. I've got primitive uh, moon and primitive sun. I think, but not primitive star. I don't know why. I, these are just I, these are very appealing to me too. <laughs> so I got that. I got this cute little Kathy Barrett. This is Valentine Garden. This was signed by Kathy Barrett back in 2000. Grab that. Um, I got this cute little Quaker. This is the Quaker Sampler by the Sampler Works, who they were out of Towson, Maryland. I don't know that they still exist. It says, um, this is made for them to see that liveth after me. I do love a Quaker. I got this Birdie Birdie sampler um, by Sheepish Designs. I love that goose. And another Sheepish Designs that I picked up is, uh, what is this called? For, uh, for My Friend. Definitely have seen that bird and other patterns of theirs and I really like that a lot. I grabbed this little pressing mat and then just some fabric, just some like oatmeal Ada and some black Belfast and two, like this is 20 count, I think I counted, 20 count Ada. This is like a yard of this brown, um, so maybe they were long dog be beautiful on that and this is just like a, a cream and the only other thing that I picked up were some Beatrix Potter samplers um, I have a little collection of Beatrix Potter patterns uh, I feel very nostalgic about Beatrix Potter um, makes me think of my mom and so I'd like to um, I don't know I don't know if I'll ever stitch any of them but I like to collect them so I wouldn't stitch it as a birth sampler but I would stitch the little motif so birth sampler one Sampler two, and these two little kits, this little Peter Rabbit and Peter eating radishes. So I believe that's everything. Um, this video ended up being, I think, a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but that's okay. Um, I hope everybody has been well. I hope that um, everybody is, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm terrible at the end of these things. <sighs> yeah, so got a busy day today. I'm going to go get to all of that and I will see you all soon and I hope you're all well and I love you all. Bye.